right, well, exciting things are happening in Harlem just the way we like it. The nonprofit organization, the Brotherhood Sister Soul, has been helping youth in the community for years. Now they're about to get a new home. All right, groundbreaking will be held in just a few weeks. Taking a look there at that beautiful image. It's Crystal has the story. Crystal, what's going on here? You know, I got a tour. It is a gorgeous building. This is an organization that really impressed me. All I can say is that these young people learn the power of their history and also look to the future and how to pay it forward. Take a look. At BroSys, our young people come together to define what it means to be a woman, what it means to be a man. The young people pledge to live up to these definitions. And this moral and ethical code is what inspires and connects all our youth. The Brotherhood Sister Soul, or Bro Sis, is a youth organization committed to enlightening and supporting black and Latinx youth and furthering social causes. Founded in 1995 by Harlem native Kari Lazar White and his childhood friend Jason Warwin, it's a place built on four main principles, community, knowledge, positivity, and future. Young people need lots of interventions in their life. There's no one thing that can help young people build a long-term stable life. We know that as parents. We know that as mothers and fathers. We know that our children need an array of positive supports. This citywide nonprofit has proved so successful it's now used as an international training model in places as far away as Bermuda and Brazil. A lot of what we teach all young people need, right? This idea of developing a moral and ethical code. What does it mean to be women and men? To become people who seek change. That's work that all young people need. Part of their secret sauce, a belief in the old adage, each one, teach one. Nearly 60% of our full-time staff are alumni of the organization. These are young women and young men who went off to college, or in some cases didn't, immediately came to work for us, and they are now educating the next generation. Always active in the community during the pandemic, BroSys organized a massive outreach project. In addition to giving away hundreds of computers and providing financial assistance to its members, it maintained a weekly food drive that lasted two years. Very brave staff members stood up every single week and boxed food and put together bags of groceries and distributed that to the community, standing with community. We saw that as our responsibility, even though we had never done something like that in scale before. For years, BroSys operated out of a series of connected storefronts in Harlem, but change is underway. This gorgeous six-story building on West 143rd Street will soon be its new headquarters. The structure went from an idea to sketches to a state of the art building that's near completion. This space called the Mind Body Spirit Room will be used for things like meditation, yoga, and martial arts. You see, this design element is one that runs throughout the building. Uh -huh. It's kind of the meeting of old and new. You see a lot of old school brownstones in Harlem and they had this pressed tin ceiling, mm -hmm. Moroccan style ceiling. Old bricks from the original building give this area a homey feeling, along with the wood floors. This tile was sourced from Zimbabwe and these OPEG windows from Germany. This, uh, this is the, you know, the quality of some of the woodwork in the building. And it's a company in Brooklyn called Otria. And so we got benches and conference room tables and chairs for all these benches that line the building. Right. These are the cushion tops. Okay, gotcha. And they're made from a, a small independent, you know, contractor in Queens, actually, in Jamaica. All right. Um, I like it. This is the room we do a large training. Mm -hmm. This is the room where we'd have a large board meeting where mm -hmm. we'd have, let's say you came for career day mm -hmm. and we were interviewing you for 60 kids to learn about media. Mm -hmm. We'd sit right here and have a conversation and 60 kids would be lined up on this yeah, floor. Yeah. It's like our big gathering space beyond our first floor. The basement houses a full commercial kitchen. This will be filled with tables and chairs that, you know, upwards of 50 people can eat in here. Okay. We'll be providing probably close to 200 meals a day to our young people from our kitchen. We've hired a chef and an assistant chef. The roof will have many functions. There's a basketball court sponsored by NBA superstar Kevin Durant and an area to simply collect your thoughts and catch a breeze. Six floors, 20,000 square feet, nurture countless streams. So the young people of Harlem deserve to walk into a space that says every single day that they're here, that they matter, that they're important, and that their work is essential. The Brotherhood Sister Soul, a place that's cultivating tomorrow's change makers, a place where youth get to see beyond their horizons.
Wow, just stunning design, but even better is what they do there in the community. Absolutely. It's interesting. When you stand at the corner of 143rd, you're like, how would this building be in this block? It's very residential. Then you walk a little in and you see it. So there's a funny story. In the middle of touring everything, we get to the executive's floor and the administrative floor, and we go into one area, and I'm like, now this would be my office. <laughs> so the co-founder looked at me and goes, you have good taste. That would be my office. <laughs> That's beautiful. It didn't have like five closets for your shoes? <laughs> you know what? See, it can't be my office. And Never mind. <laughs> exactly. But they are doing fantastic things and a testament to all of that is that 60% of the people that they work with wind up staying and being counselors That's and amazing. you know working with the youth and like hundreds yeah. of kids and hundreds of people in and out all it's like that's a yes. big facility yes. and they're probably going to need every Space. Square foot of it. 20,000 <laughs> square feet. It will be totally used in a fabulous way. That's oh, awesome. that's beautiful. Crystal, Can't wait for the ribbon so cutting. Much. You're going to go back for that? I'm going to go back for the ribbon cutting in just a few weeks. We'll see you there. Yeah. All right, Crystal, thanks so much.